Oh my God, these maps! I looked at them. They are not even. This is the whole point of saying that. Well, if you look at these maps, they don't even meet the qualifications. I mean, so the idea of saying that just somehow somebody in LRB can write these things, they have now proven why it takes experts and lots of time to make these things happen. And what's the matter with them? I, I, honest, I haven't had time to look at them carefully. Yeah, I mean, my understanding, and I, haven't, I have to be honest, I have not looked at them carefully either, but my understanding in the initial analysis is that they don't go down to having the low number of, um, to having the smallest variance. Because uh, remember, you want one person, one vote. I mean, our maps are down to almost the person. Uh, to make sure that we met that qualification. Districts are equally proportional. Yeah, equally proportional. Don't forget our second thing is communities of interest. Right. Um, you know, their map just chose different communities to split up. Uh, so it didn't necessarily do that in a lot of ways. Um, you know, and in the end, there's an article um, that had an analysis done on congressional maps, not just on state maps. Do you have that, Kit? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. <coughs> they did a statistical analysis. Um, on the maps that just came out? No, no, no. This is on the national maps. Okay, not on Wisconsin maps because they just came out. Um, but what they did is they actually had the Journal of Political Science took thousands of permutations for all 49 states, and you know what they discovered? The maps would be almost exactly, the outcome would be almost exactly like it is. So here's a copy of that article. So why not just get rid of all of these editorial boards bugging you and just 10 years from now do it in a neutral way where you're not writing the but you're you're dismissing the fact of what we just talked about that the variance between what would be would be drawn by computers and what we're doing would be basically the same yeah but i'm saying if it's basically the same then why are you opposed to a system that so many people think are better is it well, it's fair first of all it's a constitutional yeah that the, i believe uh, the legislature should do it not. Yes, it is. It's written into our Constitution. Yeah, yeah, but you know that the way that they've written this, then the Iowa did it too, that you have the ultimate authority. In fact, that's what your committee guy was basically arguing the other day, is that if they reject the maps three times, then you get to do whatever you want. And you ultimately approve it. Right. It's one of those things that we are just never going to agree on. Okay, but... but <laughs> I mean, i got to be honest. But you're throwing stuff at me here. Why right. don't we have a public hearing? Why, why are you so afraid just to, to let have a public hearing? I am never afraid of a public hearing on a topic. No, this one you are? No, because there's no reason to have a public hearing. Why not? We're debating it right here. There's every newspaper in the state wants it. You had hundreds of people write you letters. Isn't that a reason? Yeah, I mean, I will go back and double check people from my own district. The emails that I got from all of your efforts are almost entirely from Dane County. Well, I know that's not true of the others. And I can't speak for the others. I can only speak for myself. Yeah. I don't know, Jenny, do I get, I don't think I get any. And it was contacts. only recently that your, uh, the Racine paper came in and said you should have a hearing too. So yep. maybe there hasn't been enough time. And I don't know if they told people to write you, but. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, I mean, it could happen. It's just liberal Madison that's. Uh, I can tell you, going door to door or meeting people Nobody street, cares. I never hear it. Never. And I'm, it's not like I hide in my office. I mean, I'm out in the public a lot. I hear from newspapers. I don't hear from the public. Okay, so that's not, so if every newspaper in the state wants a simple public hearing, that's not enough, that's of, a not enough of a reason. Along so with hundreds of people and with the AARP. Okay. Is the AARP, uh, they don't count for anything? They have a political bias, <laughs> but they definitely, they yeah, right. Yeah. They're definitely liberal. I mean, and oh, that's, they are. oh my God, I, yes. I don't follow them really carefully. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, just got, I just got my card this week. So yeah, made me pretty happy. So here's the point. Well, we're pushing for yeah. buying every prescription drug in the book. So I, I don't know that I would call. It. No, I guess it would. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. So here's what I would say on that. All right. The reason to have a public hearing is to build support for a bill, so that it ultimately gets a vote and becomes a law. Okay. I fundamentally disagree with the idea, the bill, and the law. So having a hearing will do nothing more. So any bill you disagree with doesn't get a hearing. No, not necessarily. I, I have a bunch. We have hearings on a bunch of Democrat Isn't bills. Is a hearing a, a chance to find out if it's worthy of moving forward or not? Yeah, but the hearing we already know all the arguments on both sides. Well, actually, the Senate chair had incorrect statistics in the column she wrote for us. Oh, I didn't know which Senate chair. Alazic. Oh, did she? Yeah. I, I don't know that. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, I don't know. I just, I just don't see why that's such a big deal. And, you know, here in Dane County, it's the conservatives complaining about I don't know if you read our editorial this morning. Probably oh, I haven't read it. I'm sorry, yeah. 
But the conservatives are complaining about it because the liberals on the county board put them in the same districts. They put two of the, and so now guess what? There's fewer of them on the, on the board. So well, we in Dane County following the have less line. of a, even less yeah. of a conservative voice looking at the bottom line on our county budget because of redistricting. Well, why wouldn't you get the county board to try it first? We are. That's what the editorial yeah. says. Well, let's see if they do it first. Well, will you give us a hearing then if they do it? If they change their process so it's nonpartisan at the county level? Yes. You'll guarantee me a hearing. <laughs> I won't guarantee it, but I would definitely consider it. I just believe that the legislature are the people who are elected to draw the maps. We're the ones who are accountable. If people were upset about the way that the maps were drawn, we would not have won election. And you believe that the maps are not rigged to favor the party in power? Yeah, I believe that the maps are drawn fairly. But the only... Yeah, well, they meet all the qualifications. The documents which came from the law firm show that you guys were looking at, oh, see, these districts will improve for Republicans. Most of them would. No, I mean a majority. I mean, the way that you draw districts is arbitrary. If it's under an LRB system or if it's under the way that Democrats would draw it or Republicans would draw it. I mean, it's just literally arbitrary. Okay, but we have the public hearing for hair dyeing, for the cream puff bill, but, we, but all this drumbeat, and, and maybe you dismiss most of it as made up, but we can't have a public hearing. That just seems ridiculous to me. I mean, Especially I will, from you. I mean, you're I know, a good guy. I, I and you're, will. <laughs> and you're, you know, I know. an honorable guy. I will again consider it.